Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how I quick steep this e juice that I just received in today, show you the technique that I use, and uh, the reasons behind it. So sit back, go grab a vape, we'll be right back. Alright, so welcome back. Like I said, that we're gonna, I'm going to show you how I quick steep this bottle of juice here that I got in and it's from Mount Baker Vapor and most people know it takes 10 to 14 days to uh, steep juice from Mount Baker Vapor and uh, I'll show you how I do it within it's ready to go actually within a few hours um, even though I usually let it breathe out the next till the next morning but I'll show you what I do and it's like I said within a couple of hours you're ready to go at it so let's take it down below and uh, I'll show you what you're gonna need to use the way I do it and uh, and then we'll go step by step on how to do it and then we'll come back up and we'll talk about it and we'll actually try it so uh, grab a vape and meet me down below so here we are down below and again like I said here's the juice that we are going to quick steep and then see if the camera will pick it up here um, this was just made on 5 17 2015 today is 5 23 so it's already a week old, but as you can see, it's relatively clear. This is a three milligram, and it is a 6535 PGVG, and um, so it's going to be. We're going to show you what I do on how and what you'll need to quick steep this juice. First thing you'll need is a couple Ziploc bags. Put one in. And then I double bag it. Then you, while you're doing this, you're going to heat up some water in a pan. And you're going to get it to approximately 125, 130 degrees to where it's just where you have your, basically your bubbles are just joining, you know, creating into the pan itself. And you're going to take that juice and you're going to drop it into that pot. And you're gonna time it for 90 seconds. So hit start, and when this hits 90, I'll pull that bag out. Now I know people say you shouldn't do this step here, but I do this here only for when I'm quick steeping a bottle of juice that I'm gonna be using within you know within a couple within a few days. I'll end up uh, vaping this whole bottle anyways, even if it's 30 mil. Because um, they say when you heat up the juice like that, you can degrade your nicotine. And um, but for the process that I do, I'll uh, I took a picture of before, and I'll do one at the end. We can match it up to see what it is. We're at 42 seconds now. But um, you heat this juice up for 90 seconds. Then we'll take it out and we'll let it sit for say a minute or so, and then uh, we give it another 90 second bath. And then we'll let it set out and then we do another process after that so when we get to here when we get to the minute 30 we'll stop it and we'll take the bag out Alright, so now we're going to take our bag out, we're going to set it here, and you're going to take them both out, out of each baggie. You're going to shake that juice, get that stuff mixed up very, very well. And it's just getting a little warm, but as you can see, you're starting to get more and more bubbles into this here and as it's warming up it's actually getting more and more thinner on your viscosity so once we're done here I'm gonna reset that um, we're gonna give this another 90 second bath and then we're just letting this cool down a little bit give it a second here give it a, 
minute or so. Let me have a vape, grab a vape, and uh, then we'll move to the next one here. All right, let's pull down a little bit. Let's shake it back up. All right, let's put this back in the bag again. First one, we'll zip it up in. Second one, you're gonna zip it up in, and you're gonna set it back into that water. And when you do that again, you're gonna hit start, you're gonna let it run for another 90 seconds. Actually, you could actually give this one a full two minutes, really. And what you're doing here is you're oxidizing your nicotine, yes, and if it was going to be something I'm not going to be using within the, within a week, I wouldn't recommend using this process. But you know, this was uh, asked of me to you know well, how I quick steep my juice because you know some people you get your juice in, and um, it's really the only juice that you got. And we all know a lot of stuff from Mount Baker Vapor. It takes 10 to 14 days a lot of times for it to steep to make it a very vapable juice. And um, so, like I said, this is something that I do for my own personal use, and it's not something that if I, I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of bottles because I wouldn't vape that many bottles ahead of time. So, like I said, if it's just one bottle of something that it's just gonna hold me over while I have another bottle steeping, then yeah, this is the way to go. And it'll, you know, like I said, it will steep it. You'll make it so you can vape it within a few hours. So. Um, as we're getting close to here, I'll uh, stop this one at a minute 30, take it back out, and then I'll show you the next step of the process. All right, there's a minute 30, so let's take that back out. Move that to the side. The next part of the process is I would normally put it in my refrigerator or my freezer actually for 90 seconds. But simulate that, I'm doing it here on camera, I made a bowl of ice. So you're gonna take out your juice again before you put it into there. And again, it's nice and warm. You're gonna shake it, shake it, shake it again. Just shake that juice up. you can see it's getting more and more bubbles but as it's warm like I said it's really a thin out viscosity of it being so warm but what you're doing is you're loosening up all the molecules of all the different juices and with between the oxidization of the nicotine and the juices mixing together with it at a thin point it's making it so it's thin and you can almost went right into the bottle of ice I mean into the bowl of ice but you want to just, so all those, like I said, all these molecules are all mixed up together. They're all excited. They're all nice and warm. Well, the next part of the process is you're going to take this and you're going to put it back in the bag one more time. And I do it for that double bag because I don't want it to leak out and ruin the label. And the two bag is kind of radiant a little bit more. So now I'll take this and I'll put that in here. And I'll put this in for two minutes just to let it, all those molecules, because now they were all warm and excited, they're going to be on top of that ice. They're going to look for, you know, they're going to want to bundle up to each other and get all warm and they're going to start getting all juicy together and loosey goosey. And they're, like I said, they're just going to join all together that much faster. So once we get through the two minutes here, we'll take it out and we'll shake it up. And uh, then we'll just pro let it sit with the cap off for the next hour. So what we'll do is we'll pause it here after once we get these out of here. And uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to... With the cap off like i said for the hour it allows it to breathe and get to room temperature 
and uh, like I said, it gets rid of all the perfumey smell and everything like that. It gets rid of all those other, it just lets it breathe as it brings it back down to room temperature. So let's bring this up when it gets up to two minutes. We'll shut this off and uh, we'll take that out. And then we'll take a pause on the video and uh, we'll come back in an hour. Um, it only seemed like a couple seconds with you because I'll uh, splice it back in. But we'll come back in an hour and we'll take a look at the juice, see how it looks. And then we'll actually vape on it and uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, you know, like I said, we, got, we can talk a little bit more here. But again, like I said, the reason why I do this is for juice that I'm going to be using right away. It's not something that I'm quickly steeping and it's going to sit back on my shelf because this process can degrade your nicotine if you've got a high nicotine. I only use a three nicotine or lower, so it really isn't going to harm mine too much. But like I said, this is for a process. If it's something that you're going to vape immediately within, you know, within a few hours, but like I said, I normally will do this at nighttime, and then when I go to bed, I leave the cap off. So there's my two minutes. Let's shut that off. Let's take this out. And um, then I let it breathe overnight. But for this case of the video, we'll... Uh, shake it up again. It's actually still kind of warm. I could probably put that in for another minute. I probably will because it's still not fully fully cold but as you can see it's already thickening up already so let's put this back in for another minute just so it's uh, good and cold because that's where it'll help it join its juices and everything together so let's put it back in there for another minute here so put it back in and hit start again So in another minute, we'll take this back out, and then that's where we'll, like I said, I'll put it off to the side, we'll pause the video, and we'll come back an hour from now, and um, we'll, uh, you know, like I said, we'll vape onto it, we'll take a, I'll take a picture of it from before, like I said, and the after, we'll look at it, see if the color has changed, if the smell, you know, everything, I can tell you all of that, but like I said, this is just a, you know, it's just a little how-to for something that... It might be something that will work for you. It works for me, you know, so that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. All right, we're coming up onto another minute here. All right, there we go. So now, Just shake this and um, I'm gonna take the cover off and I'm gonna let this we'll come back in an hour and uh, we'll try it out so sit back and uh, we'll see you in a few right, moments so here we are we're back man the hour flew by really quick didn't it <laughs> but anyways um, we got it all here let's um I'm gonna go and uh, we're gonna take it back up on top and when I do take it up on top there, I'm going to flash in of, of a before picture and an after picture to see what the color differential is onto it. And then we'll go up on top and we'll vape on it and we'll talk about it a little bit more. So uh, hang on one minute. We'll be right there. All right, so here we are back up on top. And the flavor, like you've seen in the video, in the pictures, that uh, was the mood juice. This was just made on 517, and I hope you can see it in the picture. I, you know, camera work is not the greatest for my, and you know, it's not really in my repertoire. So, but I hope you could see at the beginning of what color it was to where it was after the process. And um, like I said, this is the way I use it. I hope this helps someone out there. You know, when. It's not something for like you're gonna do a lot of juice with, but if it's something where when I'm using these tanks, 15 mils a day for me is nothing. So a 30 mil is gonna only last me two days. This is a perfect process for me. Um, like I said, um, you know, if, if you're doing a lot of juice, 
this the, with the heat and everything like that, it can degrade your nicotine and make it oxidize even more. But like I said, for me, this is what works, and I hope it helps someone out there that that does, you know that it will help them also. Um, so if you did like it, you know, and it helped you, leave a comment down below. I appreciate the you know the feedback onto it. That's gonna do it for today, folks. So until the next time. Keep vaping.